Hey, oh. idiot. <laughs> we just did a poll and we said, do you like Oliver Tree? 60% said no, dude. Idiot. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? A Ringo star? He looks like he's about to peace and love us. Excuse me? I can hear you. You can hear me now after yeah. I wait two fucking hours? Shut up, dude. You were scheduled at one. You're 20 minutes late. My time yeah, how is was, nothing to How you. was your shower, Oliver? Shut the fuck up. Hey, Oliver, you're like a director, right? You say, oh, I direct my own movies. Like you fancy yourself <laughs> I know a filmmaker. What you're gonna say. Yeah. You fancy yourself a filmmaker? Then why yeah, the why the fuck are you shooting into a bright window, you moron? <laughs> Could you shut the fuck like, up? Like literally one oh one, dude. No more fucking laugh tracks. Stop with the fucking bells and whistles. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more fucking honking, dude. But on the yes, I did get new glasses. You know why? Because you fucking broke my other ones. My yeah, now all I have is these shitty ones. Yeah, don't bring those. I still want my fucking money for that shit, dude. You got to pay me back, and the fucking check you sent bounced. Yeah, I'll send you one fifty for the Alibaba order. I think it was I was the one that broke them, right? No, I cracked. Oh, them. it was you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you cracked them for no reason because you're a crybaby and you're a mama's boy. Hey, um, nice sweat hoodie, though. I'm not going to hate on that. <laughs> well, if you want to know, it was the only thing I had that was clean because things have been rough. Yeah, it sounds I've been like traveling it. with my suitcases, and this was the only clean thing, and I honestly wanted to fucking burn it, but I didn't have time to do it when I was last at the beach on a bonfire. Right. <laughs> with your books and everything, because you're, you're freaking, your book, you burn, what, you burn books like a fucking Nazi. All right, dude. That's too fucking far. What, else what you are you inviting me on there? here to fucking make fun of me? <laughs> well, it was your birthday, right? That's why we're calling in. Well, it was technically our birthday. Yeah, our birthdays are three <laughs> days apart, which I don't, I'm not happy about that, to be clear, but it is what it is. <laughs> and you, what, you turned 39 or something? I turned 19. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't even say that shit with a straight face. I turned 19. It's not funny. I'm just sad because I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is know. sad, kind of, isn't it? Almost out of your teens. Um, How old did you turn? 37, dude. Oh God, I feel bad for you. Yeah. So right. what? You want to just invite me on here to ridicule me in front of your 10 fans watching? All right, so the, well, there's a few things I wanted to talk about, and then we could. Uh, you have a pinata of me, as I understand it. I don't know anything about that. Mm. What? Didn't we send you a pinata of me? Well, it was his, uh, you know, his little weirdo minions that collect. Oh, some high pitch Paul him. has it. Oh. Yeah. Hey, you leave high pitch Paul out of this. No, he has the no, pinata. He has it. No, I don't know anything about a pinata. <sighs> uh, okay. All right, well, all right, well, see you later, bro. That was the whole point. Wait, wait, wait. Nice there may or may on. not be a pinata, okay? All right, but before we get to the pinata shit, I want to talk about a couple things. As always, you're always getting some dumbass drama. Just oh, yeah, very funny, says the fucking 52 year old man who's getting in drama every day. Very funny. <laughs> Oliver Tree beats up a fan on stage. TMZ, can you believe they wrote this about your fake ass fight? It's not fucking fake. There's really? nothing fake about that. That was a real fight. <laughs> that guy had no business being on the stage. Let me take a you can't even look use look a fucking this. computer, you old ass man. Shut up, dude. Let me take a close <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's so fake. That guy's How is that fake? This fucking guy came on stage. I was trying to let him do his thing, and then look at this is where he crosses the threshold. Oh, he touched your hair. Flat on me, okay? he, he touched that was your five hair. Five hours of prosthetics. Right. Five fucking hours. Really? So at that moment, you unleashed. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, it did. Do you know how long prosthetics take? Have you ever done anything like that? Oh, no, you haven't. You I... haven't done anything with your life. Wait, this was at the NFT convention, bro? Yes. New you York. were shilling <laughs> NFTs, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I'm doing a really Hey, I'm going to send you an NFT of these nuts, bro. All right, that's Here. enough. Ethan, if you scroll down in the article, there's something interesting in there. Interesting photo. Okay, let so, me just watch the... Yeah, go ahead, Eula. I have a question. Mm -hmm. This is a real article? Yeah. Mm -hmm. TMZ actually wrote this shit. Pretty funny, right? Yeah. At the fucking NFT con. Yeah, but let me watch this shit, okay? Nothing funny about it, okay? They threw me out to die out there. They literally... This was covered on 52 media outlets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So let's see. He touches the hair. Oliver gets him in the classic headlock, brings him down. And then what he's what you see here, those are yeah, those are fake punches, Oliver. Those are not fucking Clearly. fake punches. <laughs> Clearly, you should have seen him when I was done with him. He looked a little similar to last time I fought you and destroyed you. <laughs> mm-hmm. He looks like he punches in a dream. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not totally. right there. Dan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. How many people showed up there? Like 75? That's nuts. Bro, that crowd is insane. It was literally a private event. They couldn't have any more people there because the fire coordinator was there. Yo, said, that's nuts, bro. They uh, everyone came out for you, man. Look at all that empty space here in the middle. None of those people were my fans. This was for a private event. You could not get into this if you wanted to. For sure. I was only able to get one close friend into the building. Uh huh. For sure. Yeah. Look up. Look at. Look at the railing up top. Look how all those empty spots. <laughs> bro, it's literally a private event where they pay me an absurd amount of cash. Okay. How much they pay you for that? I'm not going to tell you, but way more. Let's just say this. Did they pay Everything you in NFTs you or, or USD? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you made last year, times 10. Did they pay you in USD or NFT? Bro, I'm not taking crypto currently. But if the market swings back up, I might consider it. Okay, that crypto shit. Yeah, so, uh, oh, this is, oh, this is what you look like? Okay, that is pretty serious. What's going on here? Well, I was dressed as a Gigas Chad uh, with my fellow Giga Chad. And so you went to an NFT convention with Logan Paul, and you're just going to come in here like nothing? me and Logan are very close. As you know, he's one of my best friends. He's a real friend. He actually checks in on me, not just when he needs to have, you know, some revamping of his Ed podcast, because his is number one in the world, as you know. And um, (laughs) the truth is, me and Logan are very tight. We're like this, and uh, pretty much the opposite of you and me. (laughs) Yeah, he's like, yo, I got this little scam thing I'm doing at this crypto bullshit. I can. Oh, kick leave him back. alone, dude. Leave <laughs> Logan out of this. Paul. <laughs> high pitch Paul. What do you got in that? Oh, that's a big ass back. Hey, don't talk to high pitch Paul. Thank you, Paul. He's going to close the blinds finally, moron. Thank you. Jesus, where the fuck were you? Oh, I'm a director. Let me set up my camera pointing directly into the bright window. <laughs> high pitch Paul. I know set so much here. about film. That and wasn't lighting. me. That was high pitch Paul. Hey, high pitch, uh, dude. Shut up, Oliver. I want to talk to high pitch. What's up, high pitch? Get out of here, dude. Stupid. That's it. All right, well, whatever. Look, dude. It's one thing for me to come on your show and do my promotion. As you know, I have a tour coming up. As you know, I am throwing the greatest entertainment experience ever with my festival, Fire Festival. Mm-hmm. But it's another thing for you to go and just literally try to destroy me and crucify me with media clips that have been blown out of proportion. It's not fucking cool, dude. I said it's fake. I was. Uh, I was it's not to... fake. It's a real article, and it's done damage to my brand deals. Hey, let me ask you a question. Um, who's so you have you have someone who's headlining your your event? I am. Oh, I'm the headliner. It's my event. Oh. But I'm very excited to announce we have brought on my childhood favorite band, Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> really? They're gonna be, Smash Mouth is coming out to the Fire Festival. How'd you pull that, man? I'm sure they're in high demand these days, dude. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy, man. It's something I've been working on for about two years. Yeah. And the truth is, this was something that's, you know, I had to open up my piggy bank and I sure. pretty much signed up to do this NFT event so I could afford to bring them out. So it was like one show for another show. And um, yeah, they're probably doing an international tour right now. They're super busy. Oh, would you fuck off? <laughs> Don't think I can't pick up on your sarcasm. <laughs> no, You're Smash so Mouth is super weird. relevant. Uh, I, I I've been wrong. Yeah, my, they have hits. Hey, okay? remember that? Remember that they did the soundtrack for Shrek? Yeah, I do remember, and it's one of my favorite movies. So yeah, I do remember. <laughs> hey, I got a hey, question. You know what's funny? I have a sh- I have a question. You know what's funny? Go ahead. You look a whole lot like Shrek right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like Shrek. I'm down with all that. You look like you look like Prince Falquad, bitch. Oh fuck off, dude! I'm about to walk. <laughs> Wait, I want to ask you questions about your show. Come back. You know, I thought Smash Mouth had fallen off, but now that I see them on your lineup, now I'm a believer. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm a believer. I'm a believer if I try. Hey, 
Hey, I'll say your festival has an all-star lineup. Oh. 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 Okay, all-star was one that. of their big songs. That was pretty witty. I'll give you that one, Ethan. Hey, let me ask you. Um, so your fire festival is in the middle of the summer, right? It's going to be like walking on the sun out there, isn't it? <laughs> walking on the sun. That's another Smash Mouth song. Another Smash Mouth song. Remember that one? I might know. as well be walking on the sun. I love that song. It was, it, it was catchy. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a pop. Yeah. Do they? Do you think that they uh, like the moniker Shrek Rock, or is that demeaning to what they do? If you ask me, I mean, I would take that as a compliment. I mean, sometimes on my shows, people will bring signs that say Shrek Rock, and um, I take it as the <laughs> highest form of compliment. But when it comes from someone like you who's making a mockery of my life's work, that's when it becomes a problem. It's not necessarily an insult. It's just their work conjures a time when sh when it was about shrek and rock and roll where people talked real fucking fast and they made shrek soundtrack music <laughs> that's what the fuck is up <laughs> hey you got a lot of projects lined up let me ask you something how do you keep up with all that it's like the projects keep on coming and they, they don't, don't stop coming in. they don't oh, stop coming and they don't stop, stop running it don't just stand for the live for fun your brain gets smart but your head gets dumb <laughs> That's, all, that's another Smash Mouth lyric. Mm -hmm. that's you know what? That was, that was impressive. One. You managed to stay in key for that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Who else is going to be at the festival? I hope there's going to be so many things to do, so many things to see. <laughs> so what's wrong with taking these nuts in your mouth? I'm not amused. Hey, how long is the concert going to be? Because I'll never know if I don't go. Stop! Okay, let me talk. Okay, we've got some really big acts here. We've got... Lil Huddy, the TikTok superstar. Wait for me. Oh. Yeah. They've got a lot of TikTokers, okay? We've got Johnny, who's a TikToker. We've got Swaco, who's a TikToker. And of course, we have myself, who's the biggest TikToker in the last five years. So it's going to be a TikTok <laughs> real life experience. Can you stop <laughs> fucking honking? No, it sounds great, nah, man. Stop. Hey, can I ask you a question? Is there going to be like a big tent with like red and white stripes with animals inside? Like, you know, a circus? Like a circus? That's very, very funny. Ha, ha, ha. Ethan. You are, no, turn the fucking song off. I can't work under these conditions. It's going to be the greatest entertainment experience, and there'll be nothing like a circus. Yeah. Okay. Stop. At what point are you going to be jumping through a hoop on fire? That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I like feel that. that. Well, I want to just ask this, okay? I put together, <laughs> you said it yourself, an all-star cast. Yeah. An incredible show that is going to be the show of the millennium. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, where will you be August 4th? I'll be there, man. We'll be no! there. Is this a fucking promise or is this a fucking promise? It's a, I mean, it's like, it's like a tentative yes. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a promise. I'll take it. Yo, this that's that sounds like if you oh don't pull these fucking pictures up, dude. <laughs> no, it's interesting because you have jumped through a hoop on fire before. <laughs> yeah, I have. Right. And that's very funny of you to make the comparison. But yes, I did jump through a hoop <laughs> in Jakarta. Yeah, so no, but I think we're all gonna be there. So how many tickets do we need, guys? Like 12, 13? Like a two dozen, if you could. Uh, like Amazing. Two well, tickets two are dozen. on sale now, and you can get tickets <laughs> wherever you want. You get as many as you want. There's still a couple hundred left. Anybody who wants to go, I think there's probably enough for you and all your family and friends. And, and any fans who want to go, this is your last chance to get tickets for this show or the tour. Because as you know, these shows will be selling out. And I will say, if you go to San Diego to Fire Festival, you will get a chance to meet your favorite super couple, Ethan Klein. No, 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 no. We're not. Oh, wow. You guys are doing a meet and greet? No, we're yes, not. Yes, we've no, arranged no, no. some kind of if meeting. If we meet. go, you're probably not going to see us. So don't buy tickets for that reason. I just want No, no, no. That. I think any <laughs> fan of Ethan and Hila should know they will be there There's signing There's a chance I won't even be there. They will be there, taking guys. pictures. Dude, Oliver's just going to ghost us again. I don't even know mm -hmm. why, why we've been doing this. Don't right. wrap this up. Last time, I sorted you out, and then you're, oh, now you can't make it because Dan can't get in touch with my Dan? Well, guess what? <laughs> you don't go to my Dan. You go to me. <laughs> hey, I'm the guy who's doing the whole thing. I was texting thing. you, bro. I was. You didn't respond. 
Hey, why did you get? Why the fuck did? How did you get banned on R. Kanye after Ian got you that gracious gift? Don't bring this up, Oliver Stop Tree. <laughs> you have been removed as a moderator from R. Kanye. You didn't even have moderator powers. It was just a ceremonial title. What did you do? I may or may not have put some of my views on there. <laughs> oh God, radical white supremacist shit. Stop. <laughs> As the guy who literally tried to blow up the NRA building. <laughs> First of all, I didn't try to blow it up. Let's just be clear about well, that. Well, let's be clear here because technically you made threats. I didn't no, no. Let's be very clear yes, and technical. Yes, I did I not make any threats. There's some footage. We could probably pull up a clip, Zach. Uh, you think you could play some kind of drum roll and maybe uh Ian, somebody else can pull up a clip of this because there's video footage of Ethan threatening to bomb US soil. So what, not a fucking champ. <laughs> That didn't happen. No drum roll. Well, so what? But why did you get? Do you know why he got banned from our Kanye, uh, Ian? I know why I was banned. Okay, tell me. Because I said that I wasn't particularly the biggest fan of the new Yeezy slides. I like the old ones, oh. and a lot of people were offended by that. And I would not say who, but Ian made no names, and maybe he can mention some of them. You know, it's funny, based on what I know of the Kanye subreddit, that kind of jives. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's something they would do. Yeah. It, it's, the message I got was more, they thought, well, they wanted sort of like a, like a, real, like a real musician to moderate mm. such a mm. big artist. Like, oh, fuck off, Ian. You are so full of shit right now. I'm just the messenger. Maybe Smash Mouth would be interested. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, they won't be. Because I spent a lot of time moderating that fucking Reddit channel. And I will say this. It was a waste of fucking time. And I would not let my close friends at Smash Mouth waste another fucking day. And I want to say this. You guys are talking about, oh, yeah, people who run their Reddit. Well, guess what? Who's running your Reddit? Because every time I post on there, my shit gets taken down immediately. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, yeah. I set up an auto mod a while ago. Yeah, we don't just auto filter everything about you. Obviously. <laughs> And I notice anytime someone posts about me, it gets taken off your stupid fucking Reddit page within the first five minutes. Yeah, it's your off name is Blacklist. Yeah, it's off topic. Obviously, off topic, unrelated. Well, hey, you recently threw out the first pitch. pitch what, dude? No, you're not supposed to talk about this. I didn't <laughs> fucking throw out the first pitch. I was supposed to, but I couldn't make it. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't oh, you couldn't make it? Clip. Wait, Oliver Don't. went to the Padres game and threw the first pitch. Now, you guys remember... When I threw a first pitch, that was a perfect one, right? Actually, what one did you throw it, exactly? What baseball good. game was that? Hold on, Oliver. Ela did on mine was right. perfect too. I thought. Yeah, yeah, and so and what I was like, dude, if you go to a ball game and throw a shitty first pitch, that's like lifetime humiliation. I did, had like a whole spiel about it. Well, mm -hmm. Oliver Tree wasted no time going out there and humiliating himself. Here he is at the Padres, throwing the okay, first pitch. Okay, don't fucking play this. Yeah, here it is at Petco. This is the ceremonial first pitch. Oh my god, Someone bro. You threw it right at the tree. ground. What the frick? Have you ever thrown a baseball in your life? <laughs> dude, you don't understand the condition. This is the ceremonial. Why'd you wear those big ass pants, dude? <laughs> like you stepped on the pants and then tripped. Okay, let me at least speak. Are you gonna let me talk? This is the ceremonial. Let me watch the whole clip, okay? First pitch. He throws it at the Someone ground, falls. Tree. Oliver Tree, who is a record producer, a singer, and a comedian. No, I wasn't crying. I got dirt in my eye. Why did he call you a comedian? <laughs> All right, what do you want to say about that tr national travesty? That's okay, the worst thing to happen in America I since 9 11. Not bro. Go the ahead. Fucking clip. So the fact that you would do that on your shitty little podcast, luckily no one's watching, but I have to say this you, that is the ultimate betrayal as someone who I once considered a friend very long ago before I first met you. I want to say this. <laughs> I want to say this. Go say it, bro. <laughs> Spit it out, man. We are, this isn't the Oliver Tree podcast. You I got would, other you shit to talk would about. fucking do something like that, Ethan. You are so self-centered. So self bizarre It's always about you. What did you want to say, man? Just I want to say it. something. Can I speak or are you going to just keep talking over me? Well, if you keep going, I want to say something. I want to say something. Just fucking just say I it, I want to say something. Okay. So shut the fuck up. Okay. You want to watch Elis, bitch? Who's Dude, never thrown a ball in her life. Can you stop talking? Not even from America. Oh, here's your first pitch. Oh, very funny. You're playing in a basement. 
No, we did a long. We went. She Don't went even compare this. You've never been under real pressure, Ethan. All you do Look is that. sit in that. Look at that. Damn. Oh, wow. All you do is critique other people while you do nothing with your life. Get me You're up on that mound, dude. Get me on that mound. It's a. It's a. You're not strategy. getting on that mound. It's only for real celebrities, first of all. The only second, mound I'm getting on you is your mom. You would be a threat on U.S. soil. You may do some type of domestic terrorist act, and I can't put my name out on the line for you. Stop! What the fuck? <laughs> all right, what did you want to say? What did you want? Nice speaker, not. Yeah. Yeah, I'll. It's all free. It's I all. I want to say something. Okay. What happened here was completely out of my control. I was hanging out in the dugout with some of the players beforehand. I've got a lot of fans in Major League Baseball. This and is what ended up... Pitch. Can you stop playing the fucking clip, dude? I just thought it'd be We're interesting so to pepper it. Can you play We're it while he talks? No, we can't. I want to share just put what it happened. small and then this big and I'll keep playing it. Go ahead. Okay. So what happened was I was hanging out with some of the players in the dugout beforehand. And I don't know if you've ever been in a dugout. Obviously, you haven't. Um, but there is a very big snack selection. And so inside the players' rooms, they have this whole kitchen and all these different foods. So I was eating for free. I hadn't eaten all day. And you know I love mini corn dogs. And I was eating like at least, I would say, three dozens of these things. And I don't know if you've had any of these things recently, but they're really greasy. Corn dogs, especially the mini ones, are cooked at a certain temperature, which actually doesn't burn off the oil so they're covered in oil so i'm my hands are completely oiled i'm trying to rub them off on my jinkos but the oil just keeps sticking to my pants but it stays on my hand so i'm getting i have this essentially lubricated hand and you're telling me that professional <laughs> baseball players eat corn dogs before a game of course what do you think dude that's they live off that shit yeah no that's not that didn't happen let me speak Yo, okay we so i go dogs? out there i i go and oh. i practice in the bull ring and keep in mind, I just spent the last three months rehearsing and training with this guy. He's a professional baseball player. I'm not going to say the name, but it, it rhymes with Mary Schmons. Barry Bonds? That didn't well, really rhyme. Can you shut the fuck up? Can you get on with it? All right, let's just do the pinata. No, this let me dumb. speak. So I go to throw the first pitch. It doesn't make sense. They don't need corn dogs before grip games. Of the They're ball, professional athletes. And I throw it. And a gust of wind comes from nowhere, knocking me down as I throw the pitch. And you have to keep in mind, dude, my entire family flew out. My cousins came from New Mexico. My grandma came from Cincinnati. I'm literally... <laughs> Your dad came from jail. It. it was the most embarrassing moment of my fucking life, dude. And literally, everyone I know was watching. And I just literally dropped the ball, literally and figuratively. <clears throat> hey, you know what? Logan Paul should turn this clip into an NFT. Dude, Logan Paul is doing a lot better than you right now, okay? Don't put him down. Yeah, there's a good chance he's being investigated by the fucking FBI, too. That's not him. That's his brother. No, that's him. You ever heard of Dink Donk yet or no? No, I haven't. Dink Donk? Yeah, just keep burying your head in the sand about Dink Donk. Dink Donk, you're my favorite coin. <laughs> Want you to dink on my face. Oliver Tell provided take on my the face. music yeah, for the other. Yeah. What? Dink Oliver provided the music for the more recent NFT project that Logan did, not the uh, Dink Donk. Yeah, I was not the one that Logan used my song for. Guess what? He actually used my song for something, and he paid me a handsome fee. And you've never done anything. I've still yet to receive one check. That's like saying, that's like saying, oh, Pablo Escobar, he was so generous. Yeah, no shit. He's a fucking like, he's, he's all of his money is like stolen. It's blood money. He's just sitting on billions of dollars of like unmarked fucking bills. Logan that's what Paul Logan is does. not a billionaire. He's technically a trillionaire. Oh. oh. All right, he has money in oil and other investments. So he's Pokemon doing just cards. fine. He doesn't need to do rug pulls like your other friends. He literally did. Look up Dink Doink. He literally did a rug pull. Stop. And he, he went, he, go, he goes, look, I'm just dude, saying, bro. You're fucking saying. pissing me off right now. Don't talk about Logan like that. No, I know you <laughs> guys are homies. man yeah. and you're nobody. No, I know you guys are homies. You know what I think of you? I think you're a fucking low-life scumbag, bottom of the fucking barrel feeder. And the thing I think I would like to do to a fucking Ethan Klein is right here, right now. You fucking sorry, poor <laughs> bastard. Oh no, oh, the Ethan no. Pinata. Wait, 
Can we can we see it up close? Let me see what it looks like. That doesn't look anything like me, dude. Uh, well, ah, it does. It looks a lot. You're right. Like the shape's a little <laughs> off. It's not fat enough. It That's... looks like you about ten years ago. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is he wearing slides? Let me see the feet. Oh, Don't show the feet. Don't get Oh damn, the tiny feet slides. <laughs> hey Oliver, look what I got. I got a corn dog to see if I can still throw a ball afterwards. Don't eat that. Here, Ethan. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold I'm gonna handle it. My hands are getting greasy. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> corn dog. <laughs> okay, let's just get this fucking over with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oliver's gonna bring the heat to me. Careful, don't break the window, man. That position is kind of sus. Wow. You think fine? This is something I should have done a long time ago, okay? I saw what you did, the motherfucking pinata of me, and that was the most disrespectful thing. The fact that you would do that on your birthday shows what kind of person you are. You are disgusting, and you are so, so, so fucking gross. See that? See that, Ethan? God, he's gonna break that window. <laughs> oh, I should have done a long time ago. I think I was stronger. I think I think I broke mine faster. Oliver's weak. He swings like a girl. Bro, swings like a girl. What you put in this thing? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What's inside? What's inside, bro? What's inside the piñata? <laughs> no! What, what's, in, what's inside kidding? the piñata? It's the cursed you brim! We it. stopped it no, with the cursed it. brim! I told you you get that shit back, you fucking piece of shit! Look at your hairline! That's you not real. You yourself! <laughs> Look inside the piñata, bro. Your ass is cursed and you accepted it as a gift, bro. I did that seals you. the curse. That you seals it. Nobody. You know that? You're fucking nobody. <laughs> Look at this fucking sorry, sorry excuse of a fucking human. Oh, my God. You're caving your skull in, dude. <laughs> I hate you. I fucking hate you. <laughs> All right, this is getting sad. <laughs> You're fucking worthless. Oh god, he's gonna You're light it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid motherfucking Wait, person. It's not good to try to burn cursed <laughs> items. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't burn the cursed. Don't, don't burn the burn burn brand. Item. Lived through a house fire. Through a house fire. Yeah, it's something I should have done a long time ago. Hell not to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Oliver, don't. No, I'm serious. Do not burn the Bram. It's cursed, bro. Don't do it. Freaking curse, bro. Oh my God, this is such a bad idea. And he learned you're amazing. And I don't know why you put that with your day to leave him. I wouldn't stand <laughs> Bro. He's amazing. Do it long. Long, long time ago. <laughs> I can you. <laughs> is he gonna know how to light a match? Is he gonna jump through that fire once he lights it? Yeah. He's gonna jump through it juggling. <laughs> All right, dude. Oliver, have you ever lit a match before? Or? Hello? What? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is really cool. <laughs> Big on here, okay? That's probably no too much. It's okay. Let him down. That's probably a lot. He knows what he's doing. You're so fucking stupid. Well, he just fucking with the curse. He's gonna burn down his whole neighborhood after that curse, bro. You, this is so lame. Fucking pussy. <laughs> okay, there it goes. There it goes. No! Yo. Yes! It comes in the spike. That's you, and that's what your future looks like. Hey, Olivia, this one looks pretty good. What brand is that? It's from Trader Joe's. Oh, it's very low. It's a turkey. Oh, that's a Trader Joe's? Yeah. Oh, that's the one, oh, that's the one I bought, I think. I did I not know we had uh, corn dogs. There's a corn dog at the door. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. There's one left in the freezer if anyone wants. Oh, I asked Lena to make it for my own. That's fucking fire pistol. And that's easy. Left, so if you guys do want to buy it. He's going to destroy him on the stage. Thank you.
Is nobody listening? <laughs> I don't even know that you can microwave those. They taste really good. Yeah, for real. What? Nobody cares? You can't just fucking talk over me. I just... <coughs> All right, dude. You're breathing in that well, curse. Anyway, thing, dude. <laughs> good luck with all that, okay, buddy? I want you to pay me back for my fucking glasses that you broke. You, you can cut them. Oh, God, it's all about the glasses. Uh, wait, no, you guys. You're good, man. Just nice no, chatting. I'm not done. Uh, I need care. you to get your tickets for Firefest right now, bro. I need yeah. it. I'm down bad. No, stop the fucking exit. Please, stop. Yeah, I'm good. Bye, Oliver. All right. Oliver Tree. That's sad. That sucked. Was it? I wasn't paying attention. Which part was sad? Just, I don't know. The ending. The crying. Yeah, the crying.